You've been through a lot. You're quite the survivor, aren't you? I mean, no dad, uh, unreliable mum with not so nice boyfriends. And then after all that, you get foster care, which I assume wasn't any better. Sometimes, sometimes it was, it was good. My point is, is that you've been through quite a lot of difficult stuff. I don't really like to think about that. I just try and be as, um, as happy as I can be, and as happy as possible, so. Sure, sure, I get that. So help us out, yeah? There are, there are inconsistencies in your story. I mean, the dialing alone, we have four different versions. We have tied, untied, with your hands, uh, with your toes. I tie with my hands. So why did you tell Connor that you used your toes? I don't, um, maybe I did. You just told me that you didn't. Well, it's, um... What? I, I don't know, it's, it's confusing. I've got us too, and we're not the only ones. What do you mean? Well... There are people who don't think that what you told us is the truth. Who? Well, Judith, for one. Judith said that? Mm-hmm. And Connor's statement is also inconsistent with yours. He knows the version that you told him, but then when he hears the one you told us, he says it's different, and that makes it very hard for him to believe you. Well, he said that, he said that, he said that he didn't believe me? I don't, I don't well, why, why would he say that? Why would he say that? Marie. We don't think that you're a bad person. And I don't think that this is just some big thought out thing, but given the inconsistencies alone, alongside with the lack of evidence, this is... It's starting to become a puzzle that's hard for us to piece together. Right, so? So, I'm gonna tell you a version that does fit together. Okay. Okay. A young woman has been through a lot of difficult things in her life, just broken up with her boyfriend, is on her own for the first time. She's feeling lonely, isolated. She uh, comes up with something in the spur of the moment without thinking it through to get her the attention that she needs. Because you haven't gotten enough attention in your life, I can see that. You haven't been cared for, you haven't been protected, and that's, that's not your fault. So, Marie, I need you to tell me, please. Okay, this is my job. I need to know, is there really someone out there that I need to be looking for? Marie, you're not leaving until you give me an answer. You know what? Our job is to protect people. That's it. That's the whole gig, okay? And time spent in here with a witness is time that could be spent out there keeping the public safe. Now, time here with a witness, that's fine. We're happy to do it. It's part of our job, all right? As long as the time that we spend in here is on something valuable as long as the time in here is spent on something real. So Marie, tell me what happened. Look, I know watching Will slowly kill himself hurts you too. And it's even harder when you don't have anyone to talk about it with. So I figured I'd get off work, pick up a few cold ones, right? And then the two of us, we could just talk it out. Just break the whole thing down. Right? What do you say to that? <laughs> ah! Do you think I damaged the ligaments? I don't care. So, um... Can I count on you to never come by here ever again? Or am I gonna have to go ahead and move? I mean, you can't leave a place with this much warmth. Especially love the... Shelf full of photos of friends and family. Well, actually, maybe you have a point. I mean, I guess sitting on my own with a drink really isn't the best way to enjoy the game, huh? I don't know, I guess I just always thought that needing people was just a, a sign of weakness. It's not. So then, would you stay and watch the game with me? Maybe have some pizza? Of course I will. I can braid your hair. 
No, I know the couch isn't very deep, but if I move the back cushions, we could... Spoon. Hey guys, how you doing? Yeah, there's beers and chips in the back, I'll be there in a minute, yeah? Thanks, Mike. Cool, man. Just ignore them. Yeah? You and me. I'm gonna need you to answer me this question. Do you like to be the big spoon? Or... the little spoon? Hmm? 